Hi everyone, it's Mike here. So those of you that follow me on Facebook will have noticed a post recently where I was doing a workshop um, to create a circle journal. So people coming to the workshop were going to create their own version of my circle journal. So what I'm going to do today is I'm going to show you the journal that I created and I'm going to christen my journal by doing the very first page in my new small circle journal. So this is the journal that we created in the workshop. As you can see, we also decorated both the front and the back so that it can work either way. This is how I did mine. Everybody else did theirs differently. I've used one of my digi sheets to decorate one side of it and then I've got two fronts so I can work either front to back or just work on it normally. Now, this is an 8 inch circle journal. This compares to my larger one which is that big and that's the new size. So I've now got two different sizes to work in when, it, uh, when the mood strikes me. So today I want to do one page in the new 8 inch and that's what we're going to do today. I've taken three number eight craft tags from Ranger. I've cut two down just slightly shorter than the one that's going to go on the front. Then I'm going to grab a glue stick, which is made by Prit, and I'm just going to glue all three of those tags down onto my page, and then just trim off the edges of those two that just slightly go over the edge. So I'm lining up the cut corners with the tags, and then I'm just going to stick the third one on the top. So I've grabbed my white gesso from Indigo Blue, this is the Gesso Good, and I'm just going to apply a liberal coat of the gesso across the entire of the page, just so I've got a nice base that I can put some colour down onto. It's been a while since I got my gelatos out so I thought I'd blow the dust off and give them a bit of an outing. So this is the metallic mint and I'm just going to apply it a little bit onto the page and then just rub it in with my fingers. Next up is the Margarita Mix and I'm just going to do exactly the same thing with this. And my third gelato is going to be the buttercream. And I'm just going to apply that in the areas that I've got left and maybe add a little bit at the bottom too. I'm going to blend the whole thing out with my fingers and just give it a real good rub just to make sure it's all going into the fibres and it's not just sitting there on the surface. So I want to make sure that it is all binding in. Next up I've got my Neo Colour 2s out as well, so this time this is the light blue. I'm just going to activate the Neo Colour with the brush and then just flick the droplets of the colour directly onto the page. I'm not painting with it, I'm just going to flick the colour on. And I'm going to do exactly the same thing with the Cobalt Blue. So I've got two blue colours, um, same sort of tones, but one darker than the other, just to add a little bit of contrast to the page and a bit of depth. So as you can see, I've got three rather large blobs of that um, Cobalt Blue sitting there on the page. So I'm just going to lightly dry the smaller ones and then I'm going to tip the page up and just get those bigger uh, blobs to run a little bit. And then I'm going to heat those. 
next up I'm going to do exactly the same thing with the orange. Now the reason I'm using the orange is because in my focal point that I'm going to add in a minute there is a few touches of orange in the picture that I'm going to add. So this is going to tie it all together. And again any of those heavier ones, any of the big blobs, I'm just going to tip and just get a little bit of a run going on with that too. I want to add some shadows behind those tags just to make it look as though they are standing a little bit. So for this I've got the ochre neo colour and I'm just going to apply that directly onto the page and then blend that in with my finger just to give it a little bit of a drop shadow. So the photograph that I'm going to add onto this page is a photograph of me on the beach when I was around about seven or eight years old. This was a family holiday and as you can see in the photograph there are blues, oranges and yellows too. So to tie the photograph into the background I've brought out some clocks washi tape that I've had in my stash for a while so I'm not really sure where it's from and I'm just going to apply some of that just to hold down the photograph. I know I've already glued it but I just want to tie it in a little bit with the background so these will go from the photograph over into the background and I am going to blend them in a little bit with another darker neo colour in a little while. Using the same ochre I'm just going to add a little bit of that colour around the photograph just to tie it into the background so it looks as though it all belongs and then I'm going to bring out a darker one which is the raw umber and I'm going to add some darker shadows on the page too. So as I'm looking at the page adding that raw umber I'm thinking it needs a little bit extra so I'm going to bring out the white gesso again and I'm just going to add a little bit of water to the white gesso and then I add some white splatters. Of course before I can add my quote for or my bit of journaling for this page I'd need to make sure it's all nice and dry so out comes the heat gun. So I'm going to add my journaling for this page with my letter tag machine uh, from Dymo and I'm just going to type out what I want to say and then I can just stick that down straight onto the page with no messing around with any glue because these are self-adhesive. My next thought was to add some doodling around those word blocks and around the page so I took out an old Pigma Micron permanent pen but I found it just wasn't working properly with those gelatos and neo colours. It sometimes does, sometimes doesn't, it's a bit hit and miss so out comes the trusty food ball pen instead. So I've added my quote, my saying and I've added some doodling and I'm happy with the way the page looks so I'm going to call this done.
Well, I hope you enjoyed watching that very first page in my new small circle journal come to life. And I'm really looking forward to doing some more pages in that smaller format. So if you did enjoy this video, please remember you can give it a thumbs up, you can share the video with all your friends, and if you haven't subscribed to my YouTube channel already, you can do so by clicking that button just there. That's all from me for now. I will see you all again real soon. Bye for now.